Hey buddy, what do you prefer? A plate of food or the chocolates? The chocolates. You sure? Yes. Without a doubt? I already ate. Why would I want a plate of food? Well, here you go. Thank you. Hello, little champion. What's your name? Dylan. Dylan, what do you prefer? This plate of food or the candy I have in this hand? Uh, the candy. You sure? Yes. Sure, sure? Okay, then have the candy. It's yours. Hey, buddy, how are you? Hello. Hey, what do you prefer, this plate of food or this candy? I say the plate of food. The plate of food? Yes. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure, actually. I haven't eaten very well these days. My mom worked here at the museum. Your mom work in a museum? Yes. She cleans the damages, she cleans the floor, and the truth is, I don't think she gets paid very well. Actually, because we haven't been able to eat for a few days. Haven't you been able to eat for a few days? Yes, we haven't been able to eat. Hey, I want to know something. A lot of children told me they wanted the candy. Yes? Why didn't you choose the candy? Because my mom told me that too. If eating candy can make me sick, I also don't want to get hurt. And besides, I think the food should be more good for my mom. And the family? So you want to share this plate of food with your mommy? And yes. your mom? You say she works here in a museum? She's almost off work. I've been waiting like two, three hours. Waiting about two or three hours here? And you wait here by yourself when your mommy is working? Yes, because she has no one to help her take care of me. So she tells me to wait for her here, because it's a little safer than waiting for her at home. Safer here? Yes, the truth is that there are a lot of people, but... What's your name? Raul. Raul? Nice to meet you. Well, look, I'm fair. But you can call me Furcho, because they used to call me when I was your age. Well, look, I want to give you this plate of food. Enjoy it with your mommy. Don't open it yet, because it may get cold. Oh, yes, the truth is that it is a very delicious dish. Was prepared by some friends in a restaurant, so if you like, I can accompany you. Trust me, I can accompany you while your mommy is at work, so you won't be here alone. Yes, okay. Raul, what's going on? Why are you with him? Look, Mom, he offered me a plate of food, so I won't give it to you so you can eat. Thanks, honey, but why are you giving that food to my son? Isn't it poisoned or something? No, ma'am, don't be scared, don't worry. Look, my name is Fur. you can call me Furcho. I went out to the street today to do a challenge. I asked the children if they wanted a plate of food or some candy. And the truth is that all the children always chose the candy. And the truth is that it's really bad for them, it's a lot of sugar. And her son, Raul, he told me that he preferred the plate of food. Because... Because you were struggling a little bit with the pantry, he told me that. And I, well... No, don't be scared, I am a normal person. And I was a little worried that the child was here alone. So I wanted to keep him company until you came back from work. I thank you so much. No, don't but, worry. Yes, unfortunately he is waiting for me here. With my colleagues, there are many guards. Don't judge me as a bad mother because, in reality... Well, yes, we suffer from needs, in the sense that I have no one to help me take care of him. The truth is that he is very empathetic, he is very good. Right now he is not going to school because of, Raul, can you go... With my co-worker? I left a bottle of water there. Can you bring it to me, baby? Thank you, my love. But sit down, sit down. What's your name? My name is Guadalupe. Guadalupe? Well, how do you do, thank you, Mrs. Guadalupe? Well, my name is Fercho, don't worry. I know you are a good mother, of course. I think a mother always gives everything for her children. And not at all. I don't think you are a bad mother. I think you are a warrior mother from what Raul told me. You struggle, you struggle with the pantry, and I was very curious to see such a small child say such strong words to me. He said, I think my mom don't get paid well for his work because we don't have enough to eat. And that was something that worried me a lot. And that's why I wanted to go with the boy to meet you and talk to you. I mean, in case you need anything, right? 
The truth is, we are going through a very difficult time. It's not that here paying me bad, it's that all my money is going on treatments for Raul. On treatments for Raul? Yes. What's wrong with Raul, ma'am? Tell me about it. Well, my son suffers from a heart murmur. Oh my god. They tell me that probably, well, at any moment, that's why I try to give him quality of life. Or try to manage a different world for him and not stress him with school and things like that. Right now we go out and, well, we walk around here. I enjoy the quality time with him. Wow, that's tough. And I guess little Raul doesn't know about his condition, right? No, actually, I have tried to take care of that with him. His father abandoned us and... Don't tell me that. You don't know what a burden it has been for me so hard. But, well, I know that with God's will, and with good people like you, we will get through this. With this plate of food. Well, for me, it is one more medicine. Tell me, ma'am, where is Raoul's father? Why doesn't he take care of him? The truth is, I don't know. I'm not interested. I focus on his life and on giving him, as I said, the quality of life he deserves. And, well, I can't tell you where he is. Wow, that's tough. And what a father's character, isn't it? To leave his son. Sick and... Adrift. Struggling. What a bad father, really. Every time I hear stories like yours, it makes me very angry and helpless because I wish I could do something about it. But sometimes I can't. I am just an everlasting mortal who today went out to try to make people aware of what is going on. I am just a mere mortal who today went out to try to make the children aware so that they would choose something that would be good for them, a good meal. Not these sweets that shouldn't even exist because they are so much sugar. And look, it even makes me want to throw it away. So then, well. How is Raul doing at school? Right now, as I told you, I had to take him out because of the pressure that, well, school generates, right? So, for him, stressing over a grade over an exam hurts him. And you need to keep him calm? Yes, he needs to be in a calm environment, with his medications, going to the doctors every now and then to monitor him. So, that also generates a lot of conflict. Yes, of course. And more or less, how much does Raul's treatment cost? Well, they haven't told me the cost, but easy, $10,000, 15 maybe. More than $10,000 for a heart murmur? Yes, well, it is a disease that you have to manage and control. And well, it is also new for me. I am with him in these new things. Well, the truth is that I am very touched by the story. I just wanted to do, now that my good deed is done, let you know me and let you know that this plate of food is healthy food. It is free of any bacteria, of any poison. I never do something like that. And I would like to know if you already ate something right now before they were going to eat this. No, well, as Raul told you, he always waits for me when I go out to eat. And now we are going to see what I can, right? Sometimes quesadillas, sometimes something. That I can, right? And that generates, and that does not affect us. But I thank you very much. Thank you very much for this very nice gesture. Ma'am, you told me your name? Guadalupe. Guadalupe. Mrs. Guadalupe, look, how about talking to Raul? Because I would like to invite them something to eat before, well, that they take it home. And maybe invite them a soft drink, a snack. Do you think so? Oh, how do you think? No, no seriously, no, this please. this is more than enough. No, please, Mrs. Guadalupe, please let me help you. And if you see that we can talk and get to know each other a little bit better, do you think so? Well, if we do not bother you, it is fine. No, not at all. On the contrary, I am very pleased to meet you. Shall we go? Sure. Yes, let's go. Well, my dear Raul, look, I brought you here because I want to give you a surprise. I want you to see everything they sell in this place. Take whatever you want, take something, whatever you like. Obviously no sweets, because you said sweets are bad. You remember, right? Well, you can have a little toy, ask for a soda, a water, whatever you like. Go ahead, order something. Whatever I want? Yes, order something, yes? Well, the gentleman says. What are you going to ask for, Raul? I think it's one of these. One of those, and do you want something to drink? Yes, that's the truth, yes. A little water? A water. 
May I have a water, please, ma'am? A water, please. I'll have a soda, please. Yes, Coke. Thank you very much. Well, Raul, here's your water, ma'am, your soda. Thanks. So, what do you say we sit down here on a little bench to continue talking and getting to know each other? Yeah. Yes? Well, Mrs. Guadalupe, I am very grateful that you have trusted me to come here to talk. Well, really, it is the least I can do for you for the moment. And, well, the story really moves me a lot about, especially, well, about the disease you told me about, right? The one I told you I had? Ah, yes, 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 of course, the one Are you... you sick, Mom? Oh, baby, well, it's just that I woke up with a sore throat. Don't you want to go play in the park? Oh, ma'am, excuse me, I almost messed up, I imagine. That, well, I know the child doesn't know, but I guess you don't want him to know, right? How do you think I can say that to an eight-year-old child? Even I haven't been able to assimilate it. I don't know, he is my life, he is my world. I don't know what I'm going to do when that day comes. Because the doctors don't give me... They don't give me hope. They don't tell me anything. They just tell me to give him quality of life. But how can I give him quality of life if I have to be working all day long? I am alone. I don't know what to do anymore. I feel so desperate. Oh, madam, please take out all the feelings you have stored up. It's bad to keep them in. It's bad to keep negative thoughts, to keep everything bad and, and that it's always better to get it out. And believe me, I am here for you. From now on, I am your friend. You can count on me. You can trust me in everything you need. How about if, if we open this plate of food so that you can calm down a little and enjoy with your son? Thank you very much. At least today I won't have to worry about it. This confuses me a lot. It doesn't let me think. I'm sad all the time. Every day. I can't stop thinking about the day my child will be missing. No, no, ma'am. Don't think that, please. Look, you believe in miracles? Look, I... Yes. Don't believe in coincidences, okay? I believe in God, and I believe this is one of his miracles. Ma'am, look, I know that one day Raulito will be fine. I can assure you and promise you that he will be fine. Maybe what I am telling you will be a little bit out of line. But look, Mrs. Guadalupe, I want you to please open this plate of food so that you can enjoy it with Raulito and, well, calm down. How about that? Yes. But what is this? Are you serious? Are you playing a joke? No, not at all, Mrs. Guadalupe. Look, that's the plate of food Raulito chose. What happened? Look what the gentleman is giving to us. What's this? That Raul is a... Look, I'm going to explain quickly. What is happening is a social experiment in which I go out to test the humility, kindness, and empathy of the children. And, well, I approached you, Raul. I offered you a candy or a plate of food. And what do you think? Well, you won because you chose that plate of food that, as you can see, it is not food. You see, they are... Please, I want you to take them. They are for you. Sir, this is not food. Well, I can't eat. Baby, with this we can buy two, three months worth of groceries and I'll cook you what you've always wanted, my love. Sir, you don't know. How much I thank you for this gesture. I know that my son's good heart has rewards here in heaven. Look, Raul. It is true what your mother says. Look, with that you can buy food, eh, for two, three months, whatever you want, whatever you like to eat. So don't worry about that anymore. Look, madam, I have one more surprise for you. I have one more surprise for you. I also want to give you this wad of cash. So that you have economic stability. Do you know what? So that you, at this moment, tomorrow, can get to the job you have right now and resign? Because with this, I want to help you start your own business. So that you can be your own boss and be more in charge of your little one. Are you serious? Tell me you're not playing with me? Not at all, Mrs. Guadalupe. Not at all, Please Raul. Please tell me. 
Not at all, I'm not joking. This is... Well, the prize you deserve for the nobility of Raoul, of that big heart. I really don't think it can fit in that little body of his. Please, I want you to take it and... You know what, ma'am? My team and I are going to take care of those treatments you need, okay? Aren't you? So that Raoul can also go out to run, to play, he can be in school and everything, and... Well, what do you think? I have no words. I have no way to thank you for all this you are doing for me. I knew that someday God was going to reward me for the good deeds we have done. But I didn't think he would be so kind. Thank you so much. No, don't worry, Raulito. It's for you, Raulito. It's for your mommy. So you'll be fine, and so you won't struggle anymore, okay? And I want you to go to school, and I want you to work hard, because I know you are a very brave boy. You are a warrior boy. Look, your mother is what I would call a Wonder Woman. And you, Raul, you are what I would call a Robin, because you are a boy wonder. So I want you to please enjoy that and be happy together, okay? We will. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I can't thank you enough. Can I give you a hug? Yes, of course you can. <laughs>